Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I want to do a video just talking about the Super Bosses category here. So, Super Bosses is kind of like the category or the team of the year. All of 2024, Dokkan has been pushing forward with the Super Bosses theme. If we So many of the releases this year have been Super Bosses. And I, I do think one of the major reasons superhero is so dominant is because they keep matching up, you know, superhero characters with some of these super bosses characters. Obviously, the anniversary having three of the four LRs being superhero characters has a huge impact on superhero being crazy. You know, LR Beast Gohan being the best character in Dokkan history has a huge factor on, you know, superhero being as broken as it is. But even though Super Bosses is kind of like the team of the year, it still could use a lot more help. Um, I, like, the different, one of the big differences, though, despite, you know, the summonable units we talked about, right, Cell Max is kind of like a baby version of Beast Gohan. It's more like, I think the easier way to describe it is obviously Gohan is just a little bit stronger because he's like a Dokkan Fest LR compared to Cell Max, who's just a Yellow Coin LR, right? So, like, Beast Gohan has a Dokkan Fest LR leader skill, whereas Cell Max only double 150%. And the best iteration of Super Bosses is double Cell Max. So the whole team loses stats off of that. But Beast is kind of like... They have a very sort of similar design, whereas, like, Beast is kind of like the defensive version of it, and Cell Max is kind of like the offensive version of it, Right? Uh, but, like, that's a huge difference being Beast as a Dokkan Fest LR versus Cell Max as a Yellow Coin LR. I have this pulled up. So, this is going to be, like, the order in which all these characters came out. So, they have really, I mean, I guess over the last two years been doing a lot of Super Bosses characters. We did get a lot last year, which did hurt the category this year. Because, as you guys know, 2023 has... I mean, some of the worst character design we've ever seen in this game's history. Now, Dokkan has always had bad units coming out, worthless characters. They can get away with it a lot more often than, I don't know, a game like Legends could. Because Legends, you're, you know, you're doing the, the 3v3 character stuff, right? So, like, them releasing just, like, dead units constantly would get no play whatsoever. Whereas in Dokkan, we're running teams of six characters. So, again, you have a much more... At like like luxury to have like stinkers here and there, but in 2023, I, I mean, Kale and Khalifa, I think was was a bad EZA, and then in Goku Black and STR Jiren, I mean, they are some of the worst characters ever released. They're EZAs. They're so bad, so terrible. Um, in Rose was solid in 2023, but it's now 2024. Um, Ribri and Rose and Kahunsa are are an effective character. AGL Zamasu's got some use now, but, I mean, he can get clapped up. Um, kind of the same thing with Tech Fusion Zamasu. He could be very effective, but at the same time, he can also get clapped up. And then we move into the characters from 2024 on, which starts with STR Hit. Um, and then, of course, we have Dokkan Fest LR Broly and Broly Chan Lemmo. And we can kind of see all of the various characters released. What I kind of want to focus on with this video is looking at what characters could we still get. Maybe not even necessarily what characters could we still get this year, but maybe what characters could we get, um, you know, maybe even next year or something like that. Like, what is left for us to get from the Super Bosses category? Now, we did see most of the major characters get huge, like, LRs, right? Let's just look at kind of like, uh, you know, not talking about manga stuff. But, like, anime or movies or whatever, you know, Cell Max is the most recent kind of, like, super boss. He's got his LR. After Cell Max was Broly. He's got his LR. Then is Jiren. He's got his LR. And then, funny enough, if you keep going backwards, it's Infinite Zamasu. He's got his LR. So, like, like a lot of the, the end super bosses type characters did just get huge LRs um, here for the category this year. Now, Goku Black and Zamasu, though, there is so much when it comes to them. I mean, they easily could get more characters, right? So we have, like, this character right here. They could just redo that with actual good animations. 
this character. Remember, th this is the reason I started playing JP Dokkan was this character back in June of 2017. They could pretty easily give us kind of like an updated version, either an LR or a Dokkan Fest. It could be just regular Goku Black and Zamasu. I mean, I'm not sure completely how often they'll move super far forward with super easy A's, right? Like, I don't necessarily think that this character might super easy A soon. I mean, I guess, I, I like, super easy A hasn't been around that long to where there's, like, you know, rules that they're following or anything like that. And even if there was, they could always just break them at any time. Um, but I don't get the indication that, like, you know, like, maybe, like, a super easy A for this character would be coming or something like that. So them as, like, a Dokkan Fest could certainly work very well. Um, you know, kind of getting into more of that uh, Fusion Zamasu stuff. But then, I mean, once you get past the Zamasu characters, that's where we could talk about kind of going in reverse order what Super Bosses still has to get. One of the big characters here to talk about, I mean, this this is his only premium character, Hit. I, I mean, there is the LR Hit in God Goku, but I mean, that's a little bit different. But, I like, I'm very surprised... That the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament arc has not really been revisited. Because it hasn't. They've never gone back to that after they initially added those characters into the game. Back when it was going on during the... An like, the anime was airing and they, they brought the characters into Dokkan. And they've never gone back to that arc. I mean, it's certainly not the most, I, I don't know, exhilarating arc. And the thing is, is that all the characters that fight in the arc do show up in the Tournament of Power as well. So it, it's like the, the Universe 6 for 7 tournament doesn't really matter so much in comparison when the Tournament of Power is kind of like right there. But that was a huge moment. You know, Hit versus Blue Cow King Goku and the intro starts playing. That's kind of the first big moment of Dragon Ball Super. So um, I do think that like a, like a Carnival LR Hit and a Dokkan Fest LR Blue Kaioken Goku or something like that could work very well. I mean, I don't know. Hit and Blue Kaioken Goku, maybe as New Year's this year, could work very well. Could it potentially be worldwide? Maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do a video kind of going over uh, some of the themes, I think, that we could see from the Worldwide Download Celebration, which should be revealed soon. But, I mean, we're waiting for an LR hit. I, I mean, there's, of course, you know, the legend, Kid Boo, who has still not gotten his LR. But, like, Hit uh, needs one. And I, he would be a huge potential addition to Super Bosses. Uh, one character that uh, Global has not gotten quite yet. This guy came out on JP with Tech UI Goku. Um, he has not come out on Global quite yet, but he should be within the next week or either this week or next week or something like that. Hit will come out. Um, this guy has the same mechanic that Tech UI Goku has which is where he counters upon dodging. I mean, you make like a Dokkan Fest LR version of this character, and he is just so utterly broken, it's ridiculous. This guy could be like, like just, a, again, a Dokkan Fest LR version of this guy's kit is insane. Just a, a ridiculous monster. So I'd love to see that added to Super Bosses. Now, there is a huge hole at the start of the series Beerus and Golden Frieza's presence on this category is, like, really surprising. So here, let's just get rid of these for now. Uh, we'll put this here. So we do have Pajamas Beerus. But obviously, this is not the one that fought God Goku. This is not the guy that fought God Goku, right? There is not just a regular Beerus here. There isn't. I mean, this is this is Pajamas Beerus right here. So, so like, like, the T-U-R for Pajamas Beerus is the only Super Bosses Beerus that we've got. So that is one of the big things they could do. I think give us maybe like a Dokkan Fest Beerus. Because we have not gotten a Dokkan Fest Beerus since the physical Dokkan Fest. But again, he's movie bosses. And the same exact thing applies to Golden Frieza. Resurrection F Golden Frieza is not here. So in terms of Golden Frieza's on the category, is it just the Broly movie Golden Frieza? And then the other Broly movie, Golden Frieza. Yeah, that's it. So these two Golden Friezes are on the category, but these guys are both from the Broly movie. That's what both of these guys are from. Both are from Dragon Ball Super Broly. 
So Resurrection F happens and we don't have Frieza from that. And it's like, you know, we have God Goku's, you know, a God Goku that's on uh, movie hero and then a God Goku that's on superhero, right? So I think we could easily see the same thing happen with Frieza and Beerus. And again, I'm going to do a video talking about characters I think could show up for a uh, worldwide download celebration as part of their themes and stuff like that. But especially Golden Frieza, to me, seems like a real obvious one. Because, I, I mean, Resurrection F, we could easily get a first form Frieza from Resurrection F, final form Frieza from Resurrection F, and then obviously Golden Frieza from Resurrection F. And Golden Frieza, I mean, if we talk about just Resurrection F, Golden Frieza, they haven't done Golden Frieza that much. It just looks a little skewered because they awakened every single Frieza in the game at the time into that same art of Golden Frieza, right? But in terms of, like, actual, like, Resurrection F Golden Friezas, like, premium characters, we have Tech, Dokkan Fest Golden Frieza, and LR Golden Frieza in 10 years now. I mean, of course, we do have in Angel Golden Frieza and Physical Angel Golden Frieza. Those are both premium characters. But, again, you guys get what I'm saying. From Resurrection F, we just have the two. So, I think, like, a strong Resurrection F Frieza Dokkan Fest could be cool. It would feel potentially a little bit weird if we get transforming Final Form Frieza, but it's not into full power as Namek Saga, but transforming Final Form Frieza that transforms into Golden Frieza from Resurrection F. We could get both. We could get, like, a Final Form Frieza that would, again, transform into full power as, you know, maybe, like, a Namek Saga celebration or Carnival LR or something like that. And we could get the same thing for um, Golden Frieza and Super Bosses as well. Because remember, that's what he does. He, he and In Resurrection F, he starts his first form. Then Goku and Vegeta shows up. He goes final form, spars with Goku a little bit. Then he transforms into Golden Frieza. And then the same thing also for Beerus, right? We could get, like, a very nice... Uh, Dokkan Fest, uh, you know, Beerus, uh, to add to the Super Bosses team. So, for the rest of the year, remember, I mean, Global, we're about to hit, the sink is here, essentially, right? Like, we have Worldwide, which is going to be on, like, the 28th, 29th, 30th. In this three-day range, the dual Dokkan Fest, well, or Dokkan Fest and Carnival, whatever. It doesn't, Carnival's Dokkan Fest are, like, they're very similar, right? So, like, those will drop right there. Then we're going to get, again, either a dual Dokkan Fest or a Dokkan Fest plus a Carnival, probably on either the 16th or the 13th of September. One of those two. I'm not, I'm no way to know right now. It's way too far out, right? Uh, but it's either probably, again, probably going to be the 13th or 16th. Then we'll probably get a Dokkan Fest. Global and JP will get it at the same time because the sync starts with Worldwide. Uh, we'll be looking, probably the 3rd or 4th will be the next Dokkan Fest after Worldwide. Uh, so like that right there could easily be, you know, Dokkan Fest Beerus or Dokkan Fest Golden Freezer or something like that. And then in the middle of October, we typically get an LR. Then, you know, for right around Halloween, probably on Halloween, we'll get another Dokkan Fest, right? Then typically in the middle of November will be Heroes. Uh, if you guys are curious, I do expect a Heroes collab this year. I think if Heroes is going to be done in Dokkan, I think it would start with 2025, not 2024, but we'll see. Uh, also keep in mind if when we're, well, when we're talking about, Di um, October specifically, Daima is probably going to carve out a huge part of October and potentially November. We'll see. There's a good chance that a lot of the Dokkan Fests and LRs and stuff like that, that we see in, you know, October, November, December could very well be Daima characters. Um, I... I, I don't want to... I don't think Daima would be 10th anniversary, but I don't... It's not impossible for Daima to be 10th anniversary, but I don't think so. Because Daima is not something we really know about, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think, like, if Daima... If they're going to make Daima anniversary, it'll probably be, like, 11th anniversary. Because um, it's like... I mean, we'll see. For all we know, Daima could actually just be, like, the hypest shit ever. It could. Uh, you never know. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of Dokkan Fest and, uh, potential LR still to come, um, for Super Bosses. I mean, Rib oh, oh, I didn't even talk about, uh, we never have gotten LR Kefla, right? Kefla, of course, I would, I would be so fired up about an LR Kefla. That would be so sick. We can get an LR Kefla. Um, I do think that, like, some type of, like, Jiren 
Topo Dispo could be an LR that I'm sure would be on Super Bosses. Um, Ribrian uh, could always get a Dokkan Fest. And I'm sure some people would say, what? No, no. But like, I mean, you know, it could happen and probably will happen eventually, right? Like there's still some stuff that we would get. Topo got his Dokkan Fest. He's a really good character release this year. We'll see him out on Global within a couple of uh, days as well. So let me know what you guys would like to see from Super Bosses, but Super Bosses is not done. Still a lot to come uh, from the Super Bosses category.